If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. All right, we are day 12. One hour before day change, I have declared war to the United Kingdom. Why? Because he had here one tactical bomber and one naval bomber. And as I have observed in his war against Germany, he has always lost ground against Germany, so I was thinking, ah, he's not that active. So I've declared war one hour before day change to destroy his planes. This way, I they changed the intelligence that they gathered on patrol about my units here that are landing would have been deleted. I don't know if he knows which troops I have or not. It's of no consequence because I have a reveal and you can see that he is mobilizing against me. There are plenty of troops here that are going from Germany now to the UK and they have to pass over here as you can see. So I need to get my navy out here, but however, he has four battleships here and two cruisers. They are all level one, so I should be fine because I've got nine cruisers here. More importantly, I also have four destroyers and five aircraft carriers to add the hit points. You can see the stack here, it is just a huge amount of hit points. I don't know how much because the planes are calculated in it, which of course shouldn't. But as one aircraft carrier has 60 hit points, even if I do less damage output, I'm still gonna be able to defeat him. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna meet him because I don't want him to get in range of my troops. Because as you may notice I, when I click here, you will see that he's gonna be able here to shell me with impunity if I don't take care of these battleships fast. Then uh, next is that he is sending another battleship. It is only one and it's only gonna arrive in six hours, 80 minutes. Still, this is something also to be reckoned with because it's gonna do a little bit of damage. What I want to do is take out this tag as fast as possible intercept the stack over here and then I'm gonna sail over here and from here I'm gonna be able to have all the island in range of my bombers and I will be able to kill all the troops here from Europe. You can see that he has here a nice stack that is moving towards his core provinces. If I could kill this at sea and same for this one, if I could kill these medium tanks and and SP artillery, this would be great for me. If I'm able to do this, I'm gonna win this war. That's my battle plan, because if I take out those sh ships and then those units from Germany, he won't be able to withstand me. However, if this plan fails, I might lose the war, because he has one light tank, which I guess is an Axis, because he has also two light tanks here, which must be allies. He has his three starting anti-air, his two starting armored cars. He still has seven infantry left with all level one, so his troops are low level. He has um, five tank destroyers, five destroyers, one anti-tank, seven medium tanks, three mechanized infantry, five battleships, seven SP anti-air, nine artillery, nine SP artillery, two cruisers, four destroyers, one naval bomber of level 3, but to no avail, I'm gonna kill it with my interceptors. He only has four interceptors. They are level 3 and 4, however, but that ain't going to help him. He also has high level bombers, so I need to be careful of that. But I have enough anti-air to take care of this together with my interceptors if need be. So yeah, I'm gonna have to be active if I want to keep the advantage here. I was able to surprise him, my troops are mobilized, his aren't. However, I'm not able to enter a war of attrition because he has his supply lines, he can make troops, a lot of troops. I cannot. I only have these units I have here and that is it. So I need to be very careful what I'm doing, I need to lose as less units as possible. I have one help however, I have 8 SP artillery, the enemy has 9. 
but I also have seven other regular artillery, so I have more artillery than he does. If I can support also my land troops with my cruisers on the assumption that the battleships are destroyed, I'm gonna be able to win. That's my battle plan, let's see if it works. Having all armies revealed is a huge advantage, however he could have the same about me, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna check the spy intelligence, revealed all armies, however there's no spies that have been caught in my core provinces, so to know about this I'm gonna have to go to the newspaper, also we are day 12, so the biggest army has been listed, let's see how this goes. So far, no, not any sign of spying. So I guess indeed that Algeria has retreated his spies. The world's mightiest armies, Morocco, 16%, Caucasus, 15%, Canada, United Kingdom, and Southern United States, all 10%. So if I'm gonna take a one-on-one -on -one here with the United Kingdom, I'm gonna be in for a hell of a fight. Again, I've pulled the shortest straw because what is going to happen just like with Northern USA, as you remember, I've had to kill all the troops and South USA took half of the territory while barely having killed the troop. It seems like it's gonna be the same over again. Here he's gonna land in Europe. There's gonna be zero units there and he's gonna take all the rest of France, Germany, Belgium and the Netherlands well I'm gonna be killing all of the UK troops so I'm not very pleased here we'll see if I'll need the help of South USA to assist me however if he assists that means he's gonna take territory and I need to enhance my economy for the rest nothing much has changed Turkey and Caucasus are continue to mop up Sweden has gone AI finally I mean, what have you been waiting for, mate? Dear God, he's been inactive a lot, didn't do a thing, lost his entire army, came back, moved a couple of troops, finally went AI. It's a pity because he's a good player. So yeah, we're not with a lot of players left, right? We've got Morocco, which is one, Algeria, two, Turkey, three, Caucasus, four, United Kingdom, five, that's seven players in total. When South USA and me have killed the UK, there's only gonna be six players left. And it looks like there's three teams of two players, being Turkey, Caucasus a team, Morocco and Algeria a team, and then we've got Southern United States and Canada. Now, I've convinced Southern United States to delete his coalition. So there are no more coalitions in the game, which is great. Um, and I've proposed, hey, we should just check. And I've proposed that we just we should just have a war and the three players with the most points at the end of the game, they can make the coalition. Who these players will be, I don't know, but it ain't gonna be the United Kingdom. And I hope I'm gonna be able to take a lot of his points so that I can surpass Morocco, which would be good. Anyhow, if it stays how it is, there is a real possibility that the three players ending up in a coalition will be Caucasus, Morocco and me.